to perform any kind of activity like playing a sport like tennis requires a lot of energy now tell me something when a person is taking rest or he is sleeping is he requiring no amount of energy well we'll see shortly when a person does any kind of activity then what happens in the cellular level well glucose breaks down to form energy in the form of atp now this atp is taken up by the cells so that it can perform its function and also there is heat generation now this chemical process that takes place in the cells is known as cellular respiration where glucose breaks down to form atp the atp is taken up by the cells or utilized by the cells to perform its function and also there is heat generation now this entire process is known as cellular metabolism now when that man was sleeping there was energy requirement for his pumping of the heart and also the inhalation and exhalation of his lungs so this minimum amount of energy required to carry out all the living processes is known as basal metabolism and the rate is known as the basal metabolic rate that is the minimum minimal energy required to carry out these processes now if you see there is a butterfly shaped gland present just below the larynx this is the larynx and it is butterfly shaped this gland in the body is known as the thyroid gland the thyroid gland is an endocrine gland so it secretes a hormone which is known as the thyroxine now the thyroxine helps in regulating the basal metabolism so it regulates basal metabolism that is the minimum amount of energy required to carry out the life processes such as the heart beating or the inhalation and exhalation in the lungs now the thyroxine also provide energy for replenishment of dead worn out cells and also provides energy for cell division that helps in the growth see a little boy grows into a toddler one cell divides to form two two divides to form four and that is how a little baby eventually grows up into a fully developed adult so for growth what is required greater number of cells are required and that happens via the cell division see one cell divides to form two and this process continues so there are a greater number of cells and that causes the growth now for cell division a lot of energy is required and that energy is provided by thyroxine so for any kind of greater activity a lot of energy is required and that is provided by this hormone which is secreted by the thyroid gland which is present below our larynx now under secretion of thyroxine hormone from the thyroid gland causes dwarfism which is stunted body growth as well as mental retardation 
which is reduced brain growth. Now, both these two symptoms together in children causes the disease known as cretinism. Now, thyroxine hormone helps the cells of body and brain to get proper energy. But because of under secretion of thyroxine hormone in the case of cretinism, what happens is the cells of body and brain do not get proper energy for proper growth and hence it results in stunted body growth and mental retardation. So cretinism affects the children when there is less of thyroxine secretion in their body. Now, less of thyroxine secretion, does it only affect the children? No, it does not. It can also affect the adults. In the adults, the symptoms are sluggishness and a lot of fatigue and also edema in the face and hands and in the eyes. What do I mean by edema? Edema means swelling or a puffiness in the face and in the hands. See? So edema means swelling. And hence the disease caused is known as myxedema which comes from the word edema. So, less secretion of thyroxine does not only affect the children and cause cretinism, but it also affects the adults and cause myxedema. Now, another condition which arises due to the less or the insufficient secretion of thyroxine is characterized by swelling in the neck. And this condition is known as the simple goiter. Now in earlier days, what was seen that people living in the interiors of the country and also in the hilly areas were suffering from this disease which is known as the simple goiter. But people living along the coastlines did not suffer from this disease. Now what might be the reason? Well, a lot of research was done and it was seen that iodine is a very essential nutrient that helps in the production of this hormone known as the thyroxine. Now, in the hilly areas, and in the interiors of the country, the iodine content in the soil was very less. So since iodine content was less, there was less of iodine intake in the food and so thyroxine was not being secreted in sufficient amounts in the body causing goiter. But along the coastlines, iodine was found in abundance because it is present in abundance in the seawater. So people along the coastlines were not affected. So these days what we do is we uh, use iodized salt in our food. What is iodized salt? Well, salt which has a little bit of iodine in it. So because we take iodized salt, the requirement of iodine in our body is fulfilled. So there is a lot lesser cases of simple goiter these days. So we saw the effects of insufficient secretion of thyroxine. Now what will happen if there is an over secretion of this hormone? Will it be useful or will it be harmful? Then let us see. If there is a greater secretion of thyroxine, it will mean that the metabolic rate of the body will become greater. And if the metabolic rate becomes greater, 
then there will be a greater amount of body activity. What do I mean by that? See, the heart starts pumping very fast. There is also shortness of breath. And this is accompanied by swelling in the neck and protrusion in the eyes. See, this woman has been affected by the over secretion of thyroxine. See, her eyes are protruding out. That is, there is edema inside the eyes which causes the protrusion of the eyes. And there is also chances of goiter happening. That is, swelling of the neck. So the disease caused because of this condition is known as exophthalmic goiter where ex means outwardly or outer and ophthalmic means the eye. So the eye becomes protruded out together with goiter which is the swelling in the neck and forms this disease exophthalmic goiter.